I'm here with Mahmoud Khalil. He is the Country Operations Manager for the United Arab Emirates for Weatherford. Thank you so much, Mahmoud, for joining us. How has business been? What's been keeping you busy over the last year? It was a very successful year, actually, for Weatherford this year, 2014. We managed to serve all of the needs of our clients, actually. We are expanding with the mutual expansion in the, in the country here. All the clients are expanding, and according to you are, we are serving them with the best technology we have based on the manufacturing facilities we have in the country. We've, we leverage this since we have factories here in the country itself. And we've been involved in a lot of uh, projects. Some of them are long-term ones. So we are here and we certainly going to keep investing and adding resources to the country. Indeed, you've been long established here for many, many years. What are your clients looking for when they come to you? What's high on their agenda? The highest thing in their agenda, they're looking for solutions. I mean, clients stop to ask for services or for single thing. They are looking for a company that can solve their technical issues. So instead of looking for one product or something, they're looking for somebody to come and participate, give ideas, serving them with solutions rather than services. And we are there as well. Now, talk to me about technology. How has this been driving your business? Very much, especially those technologies who are uh, kind of closing the, the gaps in terms of solving technical issues and also the technology which helps the clients to cope with their business plans. And uh, we are pretty much, in, pretty much in the race on this with our peers. We, are, we managed to, to provide so many useful technologies to, to the clients in 2014. Now we had the um, we had the honor of being out at Weatherford uh, in the industrial area too. You have a huge training center out there. How important is it that you're constantly updating your people and putting focus and investment into training? Well, we managed to keep this training center busy most of the year. Every kind of, of uh, training we are giving there, HSE, technical, managerial skills, and the new thing that we are in inviting our uh, clients to be there as well. We made a lot of joint training thing with them. So day after day the training center is serving the whole region and the whole industry in the area around us. Now it's been very busy here for the last few days at EDIPEC 2014. How has it been for you? Have you enjoyed the conference and the exhibition? It was very useful actually and uh, we met most of our clients and uh, the new thing that this year we uh, actually serve more than UE. We are dealing with Kuwait clients, uh, Oman, the whole area is coming to us and uh, take contacts, uh, being updated about our technology and what we are providing. So uh, the, the exhibition itself is taking the, the shape of being uh, an event for the whole region rather than a country thing, which is great for us. It, it looks like I seemingly it's topping up there in the, the top three in the world and even beating some of the American ones. Do you find there's a lot of energy here this year? Yes, especially that I've been to other exhibitions as well and I can place this one as you just said in one of the top three or four in the, in the, in the industry right now. So it's great. Super, thank you so much. Thanks.